No, you're doing great. I just think like you can just do a lot better than what you're doing right now. Corey moves like a hummingbird. I'm Sophina and I'm playing the porter and the waiter. I'm Chloe and I'm playing Smeraldina. And I'm Alessandra and I am playing Beatrice. William Edson, I'm playing Florindo and a servant to two masters. My name is John Ferguson and I am the director of this play. I'm Annie. Corey. Sylvia. I'm Annie and I'm playing I'm also the second writer. The dynamic with the cast? Um, um, it's, it's good. <laughs> Come along with me, son! <laughs> What's the process like with John? John Ferguson. John Ferguson. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I love John. He really treats us with a lot of respect and admiration, uh, and he's always given us pep talks. It's really important to me that I don't just tell, tell people, like, do that, that'll be funny. It has to really come from them. Let me show you how it's funny, okay? Always let me tell you what's funny or what's not funny. What's my favorite part about working on the show? Definitely Ben's butt. He's just such a great scene partner. You know, he's like, He's always there, very firm, grounded, you know, always giving to his other. Oh, this is Karen, and this is Sharon, and they are my trusty wits for this production of Mr. Two Monsters. Which one's my favorite? That's like asking you to pick a favorite child. So definitely Sharon. Uh, working with stage manager Eric is delightful. He's, I've known him for a very long time, and I've worked with few times on shows. Uh, I think he has a really uh, sort of gentle, clear way with people. Oh, I'm sorry guys, you need to get your butts inside that theater and do your job? This is a pre-professional environment. I'm not joking around. Hey, get the, get the camera wait, out of Eric, That is not your prop! Yes it is! God damn it, Jordan. Well, it was totally my prop. Oh, what's, what's it like, like to work with our stage manager, Eric? <laughs> things. It can be a scary environment to be vulnerable in. Um, I have to be a spark. What's it like working with this cast? I mean, oh, yeah, there's like, oh. He just farted. I can smell it. I can, it's already traveled to me. And that's very hot. You do it so much. No, I don't. Yes, I don't. you do. I don't. He does. Oh god, can we move? Is there any drama in the cast? Uh, well, sometimes Corey makes choices that don't make any sense at all. Um... Okay. Yeah, the zoom in a little so that people don't hear me. That's what happens when you zoom in. Each show, yes, I do uh, walking yoga, where we walk around and form different poses with my body. Is it like a non-anonymity, you think? Like, mm -hmm. someone wouldn't be able to recognize me because I don't want anyone to... Sweet. Very, uh, very method. Very method. So I run around naked and find a hot spring. So, uh, Corey can be a bit of a handful, a bit of a diva. I bathe in the hot spring, and then when I come out, the aura of what I felt is the aura of the character. Of course, like a charm. He can be a bit selfish, like, it comes about, like, all hid in the process. And, like, I know I'm a little part, I know it's not about me, but, like, he can, he can be a lot, man. So, could you tell hey, me- is that my caramel macchiato? What? Eric said we're on a break. 
We went to London. I had to describe this process in one sentence, what would it be? I would say text-based. 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 Probably that is like text-based. It would be saying an open-faced Reuben is funnier than just a normal Reuben sandwich. Actually, you know what my least favorite part was, is the other day we were doing a scene and I thought that I peed my pants because I was laughing and I couldn't tell if I peed my pants. Couldn't tell. <laughs>